We're live. We're talking about mastering diabetes. We're talking about artificial sweeteners today. Artificial sweeteners, right? So um, it's really a simple topic. We're going to cover it pretty quickly, and then we're going to answer questions. Um, some things just aren't complicated, right? Actually, a lot of this whole thing isn't complicated. It's just a matter of, of doing it, right? So I'm not really I'm just show, I'm telling you straight up, guys. I'm not going to. I don't think I'm going to tell you anything. You didn't already know today about artificial sweeteners. I really, I really don't. Uh, I'm actually going to look it up a couple things in the book. But it, let me know in the chat box where you're coming from. What type of about diabetes are you living with? And um, we're going to have a lot of fun here. We're going to have a lot of fun here, okay? I like answering questions, okay? So page 104 and 118. 104 and 118. Remember that, everybody. 104 and 118. Those are the two pages where we can talk about this, all right? So um, we're talking about artificial sweeteners. And uh, this is written by in our book, right? So this is on page, uh, the chapter called Your Carbohydrate Masterclass, right? What are refined carbohydrates, all right? So we encourage you to follow a low-fat plant-based whole food diet, whole food. That, that's a very important part. And so when we're telling you to increase your carbohydrate intake, it's from whole foods, okay? That's the key here. And so um, how do you sweeten things? Oftentimes you could sweeten things with whole foods. You know what I'm saying? So um, dates is a whole food. Like dates come from a tree, all right? And they a lot of people think that dates are dehydrated. They're not, right? When you go to the grocery store and you buy a little plastic tub uh, that has dates in that, that is a whole fruit. It happens to be a lower water content than most fruits, about 30% for dates, okay? And they're a little firmer, but they're not dried, right? Like if you have a mango, like a, uh, a dried mango, uh, that is like really, really hard right? Really hard. Um, so that's an example of a truly like dried fruit. Raisins, that's a dried fruit. But um, dates, not, um, not, not, it's not, not, not dried. I mean, you could take a fresh date and dry it for sure. All right. But um, just want to make that clear. So um, refined sweeteners, right? They include sources such as high fructose corn syrup and dextrose, right? These, they are resulting from a manufacturing process okay and this process involves cutting milling cracking grinding washing extracting boiling steaming condensing and drying all different ways that you could make a sweetener refined okay um and then you end up with a product that's a solid crystal it could be a powder it could be flour it could be syrup and it's sold as like an individual substance or it's, it's added, all right? It's added to um, food products, okay? So the bottom line is, guys, and this, is, this topic is so simple, it's unbelievable. You, I haven't put any refined sweetener in my body for over 18 years. Like whole foods become amazing sources of sweetening. Whole foods. You don't need any more than that, especially when your taste buds come come to life all right so um that's what we're talking about here uh and, I, and we have a question like what refined sweeteners are you using in your life right now that you you'd love to have a replacement for are you using equal are you using splenda are you using monk fruit are you using date syrup are you using maple syrup like what are you doing uh and let's talk about it so um, Aaron says that she's using maple syrup. Okay. Maple syrup. So here's the thing. I guess it's such an easy topic, guys. It's the little bit of sweetener that you're adding is providing a very, very small amount of your total caloric intake. Okay. Very, very small amount of your total caloric intake. So we're not stressing about it, right? We, we, 
there's, I mean, certainly there's, there's better options. So when you're using an option like maple syrup, somebody, we have date syrup in the chat box, we have honey in the chat box. When you're using these much more holistic sweeteners compared to like Splenda, then you're going to be just fine, right? Let's, let's look overall. What are you doing overall? What are your goals? That's what we're talking about here. Like our coaching program, everything we do in our personalized coaching program is about practicality. So Addy says, thoughts on organic monk fruit powder. If okay, how much is okay? The bottom line is like, it would be, it would be quite difficult to overdose on monk fruit powder. You like any recipe can only call for like a pretty small amount, right? I, I would say, I, I would just ma honestly make it a non-issue. Like, is the bulk of your diet coming from whole plant foods? Are you getting the bulk of your calories from our green light category? And are you moving towards your goals? Okay. Pure monk fruit is okay. First off, everything is okay. We are not the food police. Everything is okay. The question becomes, are you moving towards your health goals on a you know day by day, week by week basis? That's the question to ask. Okay. And if you're not, then we start, what do we have to change? What are the list of things that we could change? And quite frankly, this is probably pretty low on the list. All right, somebody says, hello, monk fruit sweetener, I hear is bad for your heart. I, I haven't read that research. Um, I'd be curious to learn about it. Uh, it'd be surprising to me. Um, Di Diane says she doesn't use sweeteners. So again, you guys, you don't have to use sweeteners using small amounts. Is usually not a big deal, but what, what's more important in this entire conversation is, are you moving towards your goals? So I want to know everybody who's listening to this. I want you to write in the chat box. What is your smart goal right now? It's specific. It's measurable. It's attainable. It's relevant. And it's timely. You know, and if you can't figure out all that, that's fine. Just tell me what your goal is and I'll help you guys refine it. Okay. Like I want to know what your goal is. And then we're going to talk about what steps are being made towards you achieving that goal. Okay. How far away are we? What progress has been made so far in 2024? What changes can we make? What things can we do? Right? So let's see what page 118 in this book had when it came to this topic. Here we go. All right. Um, refined grains, refined sweeteners, artificial sweeteners can overload your liver with excess glucose in a short period of time causing a cascade of adverse metabolic reactions in many tissues. So yeah, we're going to try and avoid refined things as much as possible. Uh, thank you for this topic. I've determined to remove diet sort of this year. Just had my snack. There, there we go, Michelle. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. See, that's, you actually have a, that's close to having a good goal. Like let's uh, diet soda. So a specific goal would be in 2024, I would like to consume zero ounces of diet soda. That's, that's specific. That's measurable. It's relevant. It's timely. Like you're saying in this entire year, I'm going to consume zero ounces of diet soda. And you can do that, right? And you're going to eat greens with all your meals. That's fantastic. I, I do that pretty at almost every meal. There's always some exceptions, but at almost every meal, I'm eating greens or not starchy vegetables. No question. Okay. Michelle, uh, we already got that. Okay. So, um, yeah, guys, this is a simple topic. Uh, what works for gallstones? Okay. So I want to, here's a, for, for certain things, I want you to be connected with the right doctors. Okay. I'm not going to give uh, um, medical advice on this show. What I am going to do is I'm going to share my screen. And I'm going to tell you where you could find a lifestyle medicine doctor to help you, okay? Love Life Telehealth, all right? You go here and you book a discovery call or you just call them. And if you want to book an appointment, you say here and you pick your state. Let's say you live in uh, Illinois, okay? There's two doctors you could choose from. And these are doctors that can help you sort through uh, advanced medical challenges. And you, so these are medical doctors that are licensed to practice medicine in your state. 
and they can get you the right tests. They can have you communicating with the right team and you can take full control of your health with the support of licensed medical practitioners who are using lifestyle medicine. Okay. They're not going first and foremost to pills and procedures. They're going to, you know, foods and appropriate supplements and movement and sleep and, and all that stuff. Okay. So, um, we have a comment. Love Dr. Christine. Yeah. Dr. Christine is fantastic. So just want to send you to, uh, that resource for questions about gallstones and more importantly than just questions like this, the, the commitment to doing something about it, right? The commitment to doing something about it, uh, would the first step would be to work with a doctor who's going to, who's going to help you take care of that. Okay. So that's my recommendation there. I will uh, stop sharing my screen. And um, zero ounces of diet. Yeah, let's go, Michelle. Let's go. And you can be accountable. Every time you come on this show, you can report to us and say, hey, you know, since the last time we talked, I'm still at zero. All right. Northwest Arkansas, not diabetic. I'm here because my 20-year-old great nephew was just diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. I recommend your book. Excellent. Charlotte, that's fantastic. Recommend the book. Um, and we tell, I mean, uh, 20 year old, if he's 20 years old, uh, um, he might like Instagram, he might like TikTok, he might like YouTube, we have a podcast, right? So um, have them check out those resources as well. There's a lot on YouTube, a lot on YouTube. I'll be off Atlantis in the next six months. That's fantastic. That's a great goal. That's a good goal, right? That's specific, it's measurable, it's attainable, it's relevant, and you have a time. That's great. I love that. I love that. Absolutely love that. Okay. Well, you know, today's show, super short, super straight to the point, guys. The artificial sweeteners thing, yes, they're not ideal. Okay. They're definitely not ideal. There are different degrees of less ideal. Okay. Splenda equal. I would do everything I can to completely get that out, right? The high fructose corn syrup, you know, dextrose, like all these crazy things, put them on the out, right? But like monk fruit, date syrup, maple syrup. These are less problematic, not ideal, but less problematic. And then moving towards more ideal would be like, you know, sweeten some, some of your dishes or whatever treats you're making, sweeten them with dates, sweeten them with just mangoes, right? You want a dressing that's sweet, put some mango in the dressing. Okay. And even things like raisins or mangoes, those are going to be much better options. Dried fruit we put in our yellow light category. Okay. So this has been super fun. Appreciate you guys. And uh, I'll catch you uh, at a future episode. Have a fantastic rest of your day.